Okay, folks, we're back, and, um, this town was devastated by Gara, but we're not going to do anything about her yet. We first have to deal with Robot Bombo. I mean, um, Booth. I wonder if it's Frank Booth. Don't look at me! Don't you effing look at me! I said effing, I because, um, you know. I know I'm going to have lots of little kid viewers, and I don't want to upset them, so. Frank Booth is a character in a film called Blue Velvet. I've never seen Blue Velvet. Frank Booth is a cultural phenomenon I'm aware of only because Mr. Sinister makes lots of references to him. There is an uncomfortably high number of things I only know about because of Mr. Sinister, but that's a whole other thing. Oh, Eagle Armor. Now watch this be way better than what I just spent money for in the last town. And pumps. And dresses. And magro. Well, let's, uh, I just saved, so let's buy one of each and see what they, uh, what they're about. Come on, Cody, you know you want to wear pumps, too. So what if they're for women? Let go of your inhibitions, Cody. Wear pumps. They do exactly the same as an armor suit. And probably were much cheaper. Eagle armor is better than the armor, like, way better than the armor I spent all that money on. Yeah, okay. What about dresses versus magro? It was 146. I want to increase the speed by a little bit. 149 doesn't increase speed. The dress is actually... Yeah, what the hell, I'll get them dresses. Dresses for the ladies, eagle armor for the men. The pumps are not as good as what I've already got. Heels. And heels are sexy anyway, so let's stick with heels. Alright, so what did I say? Two dresses, two eagle armors. And uh, the magro is probably better than the jumpsuit Dan's wearing, so let's find out. Aren't you glad you watched me carefully go through the armor shop in the last town so that I could uh, find out that it's all going to be worthless? Can't deal with the life vest, not as good as the dress. The good news is, I think the game's running out of town, so there's only so many more times that you're going to have to put up with this film here. Uh, speed goes down, but defense goes up, so yeah, we'll go with it. And more jump cell. Yada yada yada. And now I'm just thinking, we've got to get into that castle and stop a booth. And when we find him, it's going to be sucking butane to a mask because he is Frank Booth. And that's what he does. And that's the only thing that he does that we're going to talk about because it's not a very pleasant character. There's a well. Can I hop in? No. Okay. Uh, this town is known for its magic. No, it's not, kid. It's known for being a bombed out shell. It's known for having an inn and a shop and just being a little stop over. I hate an old and dirty town like this. No body is motivated. Well, you need to move your body, kid. Take the butt. Alright, let's go take out food. Because then we can take out Gera, and I'm kind of looking forward to that, because I remember her section of the game being really weird. Walk-offens and spies. It's a trap. I like to walk all over the northern part of this castle. So, those stairs you cannot get to. Now this is just stupid level design. I can't climb up the stairs because it warps me out of the place. <sighs> Let's teleport around in Booth's castle. I think you can actually beat Booth with the Kustera, now that I think about it. There's gold moles. Ladies and gentlemen, gold moles. More gold moles? Ooh, warriors. I'm so scared. Now the gold moves in the warriors and punch me for making fun of There's a warrior in it somewhere. I feel like I should kill summoners to see if they drop anything interesting. Being leggy blonde chicks who electricity and stuff, they you know, they might you know. So this cast is like scary maze, huh? Yeah. Warriors and summoners. Yeah, I feel like I should beat one of them, but I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. 
can screw around with the background layers and navigate this maze much easier. Because it's really difficult to navigate otherwise. I have sarcasm folks. Or I can... Ooh, ooh, I'm walking in air! I love emulators. They say that an emulation is the sincerest form of flattery. I'm gonna miss all the treasure by just having taken a long turn. Alright, let's kill these guys and see if they drop anything neat. Warriors really can take a pounding. Summoner uses bolt level 1. And gets wailed on by a little kid. Who's no longer wearing a jumpsuit. Eliminate the summoner. So there you go. And it dropped nothing. Ooh, they summon stuff. Well, that would explain why they're called summoners. But they still didn't drop anything, even though there was three of them. <laughs> Gas slugs and vampires. These enemies just keep getting more and more terrifying. I'm not sure what happens if you don't defeat Boots Castle, because other than being told that we need to go to Boots Castle by some guy, oh shoot, that was a good idea. Oh wait, no, I guess it was. The only way I can get to the super treasure, the fire sword. Aha, okay, now I'm thinking it's specific weapons, like fire sword, that let you... But wait, I don't want to give that to him, because if I was going to cast fire and magic on the fire sword, it would be... I have to give it to, like, Cody, I think. Commando Cody. Oh, okay, see, now that's... Was that worth it to do, um... To go all the way back out of the castle? I'll let you, the viewer at home, decide. Let's see what happens if we go this way. There's a single treasure chest, and that's it. But I got bread, folks. After I get paid. Warriors and Summoner. You guys are scary, but you got nothing on vampires and gas slugs. Gold mofos. These are some bad gold mofos. And the horrible puns just keep on coming. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Let's... Might as well get up and see what's in there. Oh, wiz robe. Dan, the prosperous wise man, you can probably wear his robe, and it will improve your stats. Huzzah! Why do I even buy armor? It's like outdated three seconds later. Run away from the warriors. Warriors. Something, something, something. They're the last of an ancient breed. Summers! Random interjections. Stupid pointless enemies. Aha! Folks, it pays to cheat with the background levels, players. Two warriors. Hey, warriors are nothing compared to gas slugs, which I have not fought. Oh, moon drop. Oh, man. So that top secret hidden area led to the greatest possible treasure. Moon drops are kind of useful. They're not that useful, but they are the best treasure in this game, because this game's treasure sucks. That's right, I said it. This game treasure sucks. Even if you get like a ex neat expensive piece of armor, there's a million pieces of armor in this game, so everything is outdated immediately. I'm getting very bitter, and I think it's because I've done this whole video without mentioning Robot Bombo. Now I've mentioned Robot Bombo and I feel better. So I'll be in better spirits for the next video in which hopefully we will actually find Booth and stop wandering around a stupid castle. Fighting summoners, gas slugs, vampires, and the rest. So stay tuned next time, folks. Blah, blah, blah.